Hello, welcome to week number four of my micro my micro dosing journey update. If you've been following along, you've probably noticed I missed week number two. Not sure how that happened. I guess I missed a week somewhere, which uh, if you know me well enough, that's not uh, out of the ordinary. Uh, for those of you just joining, welcome. This is my vlog on microdosing magic mushrooms reintroducing magic mushrooms in a microdose way to share with you the benefits in real time uh so for first and foremost i want to share a win uh it's been one week of a successful morning routine for me that's a big deal for me uh being that i still have a day job i still work full time on top of doing coaching and on top of doing this so to be able to create a routine that works both around that and around this is uh super duper <laughs> i uh, i struggle with trying to find the perfect routines because i find the next cool thing where i'm like oh hey this could benefit me this way and then I forget to continue doing the other things that I've implemented. So um proud of myself on that one. So one weekend on that. Um, mental feelings around it. So I want to give you a little bit of analogy that my friends, family, followers, they're also fellow mechanics will understand. Uh, you know, when there's a part or like you got you got to get into somewhere. And you're just you're just standing back, trying to figure out how to get that part from that small space. Do I got it twisted the right way? Is there one way of doing it? You know, you step back and finally you get to the point where you're just like, fuck it, let's try it. Um, I deal with analysis paralysis a lot where I take in so much information that I actually struggle to make decisions make a choice and own that choice. So during my week four of microdosing, I noticed that I had a lot more confidence in making a more definite decision lickety split as opposed to sitting there and contemplating if either choice was the right or the wrong decision. So that is also considered a win for me um, as making decisions <laughs> I never really realized that it was a struggle for me until somebody had pointed out that it seems that I struggle making decisions and now I can't unsee it. So there's that and just one more thing to explore on in my life. So yeah, that was a win for me. Uh, one thing I will note that this has happened for me in the past. This wasn't really a new learning this week, but I wanted to share it with you just so you are aware. More is not always better okay uh so i accidentally took too much because right now i'm just i'm i'm pre-measuring it out myself by by weighing it and so i accidentally took too much one day and to explain that feeling it's similar to feeling anxiety rise and it you're just at that bridge of that tipping point like you're like you feel very flighty so it's not cool. If you don't like that feeling, I suggest being very mindful around your dosing because it's super important. And um, yeah, super important. <laughs> um, along that came with that was, of course, a brand new perception because I had a different amount in my system than I was used to. And I became very aware of how much of my time is consumed of my thoughts worrying about what other people or if other people are paying attention to me. So I paid extra particular attention to how I was showing up in the world and being aware if how I was showing up was actually how I wanted to show up. So when I first thought about this, it was kind of it was disheartening to realize because I thought this was something that I had overcome. Um, I, I grew up very insecure. So a lot of my time in the past was taken up by me worrying about other people. And over these last few years, building up my self-confidence, that's a worry I didn't really have. But this is where it was a little bit different was it wasn't necessarily a bad feeling or a bad awareness on how much I currently am. 
because it was quickly followed by the new thought habit. So even though those old thoughts were coming up, my new habit of checking in with myself to make sure what I was doing or what I was thinking or how I was showing up was actually the way I want to be showing up. So it ended up being a positive, but when you're sitting there at a really high space feeling feeling flighty, to then have those thought loops going on, and even though it's like bouncing to the good side, the side where we want to go, even though it's bouncing over there, it's still a lot. It's still overwhelming. So I will chalk that up to a win as well. It was just an uncomfortable win due to physical discomfort because of my negligence in my my um, measuring out of the of the substance. So I want to follow up this episode as well as I'm not promoting the usage of it, just simply sharing my experience. I share this for legality reasons that I'm not promoting any specific product just sharing this in my experience and um, <clears throat> expressing my opinions on the matter. All right, now that we're past that, that's it for today, guys. That is my week number four in a nutshell. Please like, share, and subscribe to show other people out there that, hey, microdosing, in my experience, can be pretty cool. Hope you have, hope you have a fantastic day. <laughs> Hope you have a fantastic day. Take care and I will see you next week.